everybody, welcome back to VGC Series 2, where today, um, I realized... <coughs> oh, it went a little bit too hard on that intro. I realized I've never touched Belly Bowl. Haven't used it on a single team at all. So, uh, today, we're gonna use Belly Bowl. Um, because it's, it's a funny, cool Pokemon. And it does exactly one thing, I think. Um, I was at work the other day just testing random stuff. That's where that, uh, that, that weird Hydrag- uh, not Hydreigon. The weird, um, Iron Jugulus team came from that everybody is so, uh, polarized about. Y'all, it's, it's not good. It's funny. That's, like, 90% of the teams I make. Get, get with the program. Get with the program. Anyway. Belly Bolt does, like, one thing, okay? You set up Trick Room, you bulldoze it, you get your weakness policy and your electromorphosis, and then you parabolic charge things to death. And that's kind of what Belly Bolt does. Uh, if you don't know what Electromorphosis does, every time you get hit by an attack, you get charged. Which means that your next Electro-type attack <coughs> is double damage. That's how charge works. So, Parabolic Charge, which is like a 65 base power move, yeah. Um, essentially becomes a base 130 base power move that heals you... Um, is it 50% like it's just regular 50%? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, uh, it's like, <laughs> it's like 130 base power spread electric type Giga Drain coming off of weakness policy Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt special attack stats 103, like it's not amazing, but after weakness policy, it's, it's pretty darn great. I mean, so that's what you do. Um, <coughs> Belly Bolt also gets access to Muddy Water, which is really neat. You can run Terra Water, Muddy Water. Um, very, very funny Pokemon. I don't know if it's like great. It's not like a good Pokemon. It, it's, you know, it's got like weird stats for what it needs to do, but. <coughs> Sorry, gosh. I've been at home alone all morning. This is my first talking that I've done, so the coughing is. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Um, Most people would try to run this with a Rangaroo, and that's really awkward, I feel like. <coughs> gosh. Because a Rangaroo does get Trick Room and Bulldoze. Um, and the ability Symbiosis, so you don't take damage from your own Belly Bolt, because Parabolic Charge hits everybody. But, Orangaroo's too fast to move before Belly Bolt in Trick Room, if that makes sense. Like, you're gonna get an attack off before your Orangaroo moves, and that's kinda just not ideal. <sighs> so what I decided to do <coughs> was run Bronzong, who's slower than Belly Bolt, um, and just accept that I'm going to take the Parabolic Charge damage. It doesn't matter, because I will get HP back from it anyway. Um, pretty, I don't know what this, there's not like a standard Bronzong set right now, but I'm just running all bulk. Trick Room, Bulldoze, Gyro Ball, Protect. Gyro Ball is really good into Flutter Main. It's really good into Iron Bundle. Neat stuff. I decided to run Hariyama, because I wanted <coughs> Fake Out Pressure, um, uh, that was also really offensive. And really, uh, you know, honestly, I was looking at the list of Fake Out Pokemon, and there, there aren't that many. So Hariyama is what I went with. Um, Iron Hands might be better here, but Hariyama usually wins the 1v1 against Iron Hands, and I didn't want another Electric type on my team to like have another Pokemon that's weak to Electric, you know what I mean? So, you know. Um, and then we have a little Rain Core. We're running Pelipper and Palafin. I figured if I was going to run Terra Water, Muddy Water, I might as well just run Rain. You know, like, that's good. Um, Hariyama and Pelipper also both get Wide Guard, which will protect them from Parabolic Charge, but also protecting both of your Pokemon from any spread moves your opponent might have, like Earthquake or something like that, which is really neat. Um, it's very similar. It's not actually, it's actually not similar at all to the one that I brought to the Regional. The Palafin is the same set I brought to the Regional. The Pelipper is different because we don't need Tailwind because we're a Trick Room team. So we're just running like Chilling Water, Wide Guard, Hurricane, Helping Hand, which is really neat. Um, Helping Hand on Pelipper is really funny. Nobody sees it coming. The Palafin, same set I brought to the Regional, just like Max Bulk, Max Attack, Leftovers. And then lastly, I'm running a Loaded Dice Brute Bonnet with Bullet Seed. It's really neat. Um, I just needed a Grass type and um, Brute Bonnet just kind of like fits the roles here. It, it has... This, it resists all the things that Bronzong are weak to except for fire. Um, but like the ghost and dark type moves that Bronzong is weak to, Brute Bonnet is resists. All the stuff that Palafin, uh, Pelipper, and Belly Bolt are weak to, Brute Bonnet also resists. So it just felt like a nice little inclusion there. Is this a good team? I don't know. I got to like 1400 with it on my account. So <laughs> it's not like a bad team. Maybe it's not optimized. I feel like maybe somebody could probably build a better Belly Bolt team than this. 
or like take the same concept and just do a little bit better with it but it's not like terrible it's just not like great you know it's it's just okay sometimes that's enough i'm hoping we get a game where we can just go off um those have been kind of few and far between i think oh man amoongus is always a problem i don't have enough um immunities to amoongus which is a little bit of a problem <coughs> um let me think about this here i think what i want to do is i want to go bronzong is palafin gonna be good here i don't know actually to be honest with you let's go bronzong brute bonnet belly bolt hariyama i think we're not gonna bring the rain mode i don't think we need it i mean really the only mon that's good i mean it's good in the arcanine and sandy shocks but i don't really need rain to beat sandy shocks technically the only bad thing here is they lead like arcanine plus um okay this is fine this is a fine lead i can this is an okay lead it really just depends on if they're running Taunt here. If they're running Taunt, we might be in trouble. I'm going to go in Trick Room, just hard switch to Belly Bolt. I feel like that's okay. Oh, um, as always, if you guys like the video, leave a big fat like. It helps me push the videos to all the people, and that's what we need. Um, <coughs> I'm Covert Cloak, but we didn't share Team Sheets, so they didn't know that. Wow, that's really close to knocking out. <laughs> Alright, we're doing great. We're doing great. Um, this Parabolic Charge might just knock things out. We'll see. Um, like, push all the videos to people. Comment, do you like Belly Bolt as a Pokemon? I know this Pokemon has been polarizing. A lot of people love it, but a lot of people don't like that its mouth is, or its its eyes are not its eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do you like Belly Bolt? T-Wave? Okay. That's kind of weird, but all right. Sure. We should knock out the Arcanine here. We're going to knock out our own Bronzong, but that's okay. A little bit of HP little bit of HP. Arcanine's dead. <coughs> um, what comes in? What are they going to bring in? Probably that Amoongus. I'm going to bring in Hariyama. So we can get a fake out off. And if we can get like accuracy drops in the Amoongus, that helps a lot. Amoongus really like tears this team apart. It really needs better answers to Amoongus. Oh, they don't have it. Alright, bet. Uh, fake out. Muddy Water. I, that might just KO the Grim Snarl how much, based on how much the Parabolic Charge did. Mm, mm hmm. That's fair. KO? Oh, they T-Wave. That's really mean, but I guess I still get my Guts boost. Um, sure, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and just headlong rush this Sandy Shocks and go for the Muddy Water again. <coughs> this Grim Snarl really just must not have anything to do because I don't know why... It just keeps clicking T-Wave into things when it doesn't make sense. It really just... Oh, it's Terra Grass. That's actually kind of scary. They're probably going to knock out my Belly Bolt here. Unless I get an Accuracy Drop, that is. No Accuracy Drop. Belly Bolt goes down. That's okay. We should still be able to beat the Sandy Shocks because it can't beat Brute Bonnet. And then, what's the last Mon that's left? Ah. Hmm. Okay. Let me think. Um... It's probably Sash, right? It's probably Sash. What do we think they're gonna do, actually? Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's just... Hmm. We can definitely KO this. They might just double protect, right? What's slowest? You? Alright. Let's do this here and this here. Protect. No protect on the Iron Bundle. We should just knock it out. <clears throat> One... Two, because we're guaranteed to hit at least four times with the loaded dice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. They should not be able to knock us out. I'm going to Sucker Punch, though. <laughs> yeah, the Sucker Punch just does it. That's great. Perfect. Okay. Hacks? I didn't get any hacks. I didn't get any hacks. In fact, I got the opposite of hacks. I got, I got good luck on my hacks, which is, like, that's your fault, man. Why are you relying on hacks? I didn't get hacks. What the heck? <clears throat> okay. Um. Let me think about this here. 
I think Palafin, the Palafin core is pretty good as long as we can deal with Sandy Shock. Sandy Shocks is honestly like the scariest thing. The Brute Bond is also scary. Actually, let's go Bronzong Hariyama. Yeah? Agree? I'm gonna go Bronzong Hariyama, Belly Bolt. Mm. Do I wanna go Pelipper? Or Brute Bonnet? Let's go our Brute Bonnet. <clears throat> I don't know if that's what I want. Let's see. Okay. Alright, this is fine. I'm gonna Trick Room. I'm gonna fake out the Sandy Shocks. <clears throat> that should be okay. Don't sleep on Hariyama, y'all. Hariyama, Hariyama is better than Iron Hands on some teams. Like, it really just depends on what you need. Because Hariyama doesn't need to tear a grass to be immune to Spore. It's really, uh, really handy. They're taking their time. I get it. Um, they led very poorly. I don't know why they didn't lead for Trick Room. Maybe they don't have a Trick Room lead. I don't know. But these two Pokemon are not going to deal with my lead. I'm at least going to get Trick Room up. <clears throat> there isn't a whole lot they can do about it. So they protect this turn, which means they can't protect next turn. They go for Pounce to lower my speed stat. Okay, I guess that, that, that doesn't really make any sense. Let me think. What could come in here? Nothing really wants to take a close combat from my guy. But Brute Bonnet... Oh, actually, Brute Bonnet's faster than me now. Who cares? Yeah. Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this Pokemon to there and Headlong Rest the Sandy Shucks. If they leave it in, it just goes down. I'm not really in any danger here. They're taking their time, though, which is a little annoying. They actually might have even just timed out. Are they even here? Are you here, It Mickey? Is it, is it Mickey in the room with us? I don't think they are, guys. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay. They have realized they cannot win. Are we going to get to 1500 with Belly Bolt in this video? That'd be really funny. <clears throat> Under the ladder has been out long enough. That's not like a stupid high ranking, but it's kind of high for meme Belly Bolt team. Um, okay. I'm seeing a lot of ground and grass types, and that's really not great. Uh, Belly Bolt can kind of deal with the ground types. But Gastrodon's a problem. Gastrodon means we kind of just have to bring Brute Bonnet. Which is fine, because Brute Bonnet deals with a couple of these Pokemon pretty well if we get Trick Room up. I'm going to go Bronzong. I kind of want to go Bronzong Hariyama. I will accept open team sheets. I don't really know if they're going to, but... Let's go, yeah, let's go Bronzong Hariyama. And then let's bring... Hmm. I think let's just bring Belly Bolt Brute Bonnet again. Okay, double grass lead. That's fair. <clears throat> That's a thing you can do. Um, Can I live the knockoff? I actually have no idea. I'm going to trick room and I'm going to fake out the brute bonnet. I think I live the knockoff. Hopefully I live the knockoff. Do they just like reverse my trick room? We live the knockoff. That's great. Are you covert cloak? Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Whew, that was a little scary. Um, So what do I want to do? I want to... I think I want a gyro ball here and just close combat the brute bonnet. Okay. Meowth is going to attack. Hopefully it doesn't knock anything out. Oh, they reverse the trick room. That's fair. Honestly, <coughs> that's fair. Dragonite comes in. Does it have a flying type attack is the question. Let me think about this here. I'm going to protect and huh. I didn't think they were going to reverse the Trick Room, honestly. That's a little bad. I'm going to Protect, and... Is that Protect obvious? Is that a really obvious Protect? Let's go for the Trick Room again. Let's go for the Trick Room. Let's close combat the Mouse Gerada. It's Terra Normal. Ah, okay, I guess. <clears throat> we should live. Yeah. Oh, and we even live that. That's great. Terra Normal Dragonite. What's the last Mon going to be? Um... All right, let's get Brute Bonnet in. It's Gastrodon. Oh, then we're fine. We're doing great. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and... You think it's Choice Band? If it's Choice Band, it's locked into that. I mean, that's really not that bad. I'm going to go ahead and Spore Dragonite and hard switch to Belly Bolt so that I don't lose my Hariyama this turn. 
That is way more damage than I feel like is fair, but okay. We got an accuracy drop. Please don't miss the spore. Thank God. All right, now we bullet seed Gastrodon. Um, let's go ahead and just start T-bolting Dragonite. That's great. Yawn, okay. I missed the bullet seed. That really sucks. Um, let me think. <clears throat> I mean, really... I'm going to switch to Hariyama and T-Bolt the Dragonite again. If I mean, even if they wake up, I think Belly Bolt lives. Mm. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, they miss? Great. Perfect. Dragonite's dead. Brute Bonnet comes in, and we just kind of win, I think. Um, I actually can't damage the Gastrodon, so let me just protect so I can keep Muddy Water spread damage. It looks like we win. <laughs> Gastrodon is also a little bit of a problem. Belly Bolt literally cannot damage Gastrodon. <laughs> wow, okay, we're doing great. We're doing great. I feel so good right now. We're having a great time. Belly Bolt. The belly boy. The belliest. Okay, alright. These are Pokemon that you can lead. Um, let me think... I'm thinking that... What am I thinking? Um... I think we go Bronzong. I think we go... Do we need Palafin? What do we need? I'm thinking Bronzong Palafin, but how do we beat Dozogiri? I mean, really, Belly Bolt is the only thing we have that can beat Dozogiri, right? So let's do... Let's do... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go Bronzong, Hariyama, Belly Bolt. No, yeah, I think it's just gonna be Brute Bonnet again. That's so crazy. <clears throat> when I first started testing this team, I just brought Palafin Pelipper to like every game, but we haven't seen anywhere it's gonna be like really good. I mean, Palafin's good if they don't bring Dondozo, and like really that's that might be enough that maybe I should bring Dondozo, but we'll just see. We'll just see, it's fine. They're not gonna accept open team sheets. Nobody is today. Yeah. Fluttermane, Iron Moth is pretty much the lead I was expecting. I want to say I take a Shadow Ball, but honestly, we don't know what the item is, so I might not. Um, oh, it's the Acid Spray set. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to Terra Water, go for the Trick Room. I'm just going to fake out Iron Moth. That's pretty free. They really can't do anything about it. <clears throat> and without weakness, they definitely don't KO my Bronzong. Oh, they just Protect. That's even better. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. That's actually really not good. That Moonblast did so much damage. I feel like maybe it's specs. What do you guys think? I want to bulldoze because I don't do a ton of damage to Iron Moth and it'll break any potential sashes. I'm just going to bulldoze Parabolic Charge. They should KO both of these Pokemon. <clears throat> and none of their mods really want to switch into that either. That should be fine. They switched to Dragonite. Yeah, that's fine. We should... Oh, the Terra Grass is going to hurt. The Terra Grass is going to not be good for us. That's not good for baby. All right, well, we live, so it's okay. Um, Let's see. The next Parabolic Charge, I think, just KOs things. Because how much did we do? We did 51% to Iron Moth, so definitely KOs Iron Moth. So I think what I need to do is, um, let's go, <clears throat> extreme speed could be really scary actually. Let's rage powder and let's just, I kind of just want a parabolic charge again. Oh, they protect. That's fair. There's the extreme speed. That's cool. <laughs> we do so much damage to our brute bonnet. All right. Yeah. So it is multi-scale. That's good to know. What's coming in? That means there's no Dodozo Giri, which means nothing really beats Belly Bolt anymore. Um, now, I don't have Protect on my Brute Bonnet, but if Fluttermane comes back in, we just Bullet Seed it, right? Because they don't take a T-Bolt. Oh, they brought just the Tatsugiri. All right, I'm going to Bullet Seed there and T-Bolt here because that's free. Uh-huh. We got to stall at Trick Room. I get it. <clears throat> but... This Fluttermane doesn't have Protect, I don't think. So, 
Although we don't know, we actually don't know. We don't know for sure. We don't know anything for sure. Who's slower? How much did I take for my own parabolic charge? 35.8, I don't take another one. Let's just go for this. It is not Sash, but it does live. Oh, we just lose? I hate that. I hate that so much. I definitely should have just bullet seeded the Flutter main. That's my bad. Because I don't take the next Dazzling Gleam. Damn. Ah, we were so close. We were so close. And yet, so far. All right, so we got time for one more, I think. <clears throat> that could have... De I definitely think if I had gone for Bullet Seed in a Flutter, maybe we would have won. That's my bad. Or maybe I should have done, like, Sucker Punch Parabolic Charge. I don't know. Yeah, that probably would have been the better, the better play. <clears throat> Alright, so... So what? Is Palafin good here? Not. I mean, if it's Terra Grass... The, okay, so all these Terra Grass Pokemon are really grinding my gears. Really, Bellabold's big problem is it can't hit Grass types. It does not have moves to hit Grass types with. Um, hmm. All right, so I'm going to go Bronzong. I'm going to go Hariyama. Is that what I want? That's really scary. I don't like Specs Fluttermane. It does too much damage. I'm going to go Bronzong and... Yeah, I'm going to go Hariyama. Let's go Bronzong, Hariyama. Belly Bolt and... It's going to have a group on it again, isn't it? I don't like that, but that's what we're doing, I guess. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Let me think. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Terra Water Trick Room because I feel like I have to. And I'm gonna headlong rush this Sarah Ledge because I think that's in my best interest. <clears throat> now I could Terra Grass here, but if they Terra Grass, I don't know. I feel like they won't. I feel like they're probably not expecting Headlong Rush, but we'll see. We'll see. Pray for me. Okay? Okay? Bulk Up is interesting. Alright, yeah, so the next one KOs, which is great. Um, the next one KOs. What do I want to do? I'm going to go ahead and just Gyro Ball this slot in case they switch into something fast. I'm just going for another Headlong Rush. <coughs> Definitely Dragonite resists that, but it's fine. I would like to get Belly Bolt in, but... Okay, Mouse Hold comes in, that's fine. They go Terra Grass. Oof. Alright, that's great. We get Belly Bolt in for free, and now we just win. No, because they're Terra Grass! Why? <laughs> Ugh! Terra Grass is so stupid! Mm. Alright, let's just go for stuff. You know, honestly, like, what else am I gonna do? I could hope for accuracy drops, I guess. Or I could go for the T-Bolt. Alright, let's try. Faint? Why? Okay. Oh, it's... Interesting. I, you know, Bitter Blade... I, you know, Serral Edge is not a bulky Pokemon. I really don't understand how it eats so much damage. They don't take another one. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Oh! You jerk. You big, fat, jerky jerk. Alright, you win. You got it. I want to play one more. <laughs> I should have probably seen a Shadow Sneak coming, but there wasn't anything I could do about it. This Torkoal is going to be not good. Okay, this is the one. This is the one where we go Bronzong, Palafin, Pelipper, Belly Bolt. I think. This is the one. This is the one. This is the last game, for real. Even if I lose. Even if I lose to, to random Terra Grass Torkoal, this is the last game. <laughs> yeah. I wish... If Belly Bolt just had a way to damage Grass types, it'd probably be good. It just doesn't. And, you know, I it's my fault. I didn't build a good way to deal with them. Maybe this should be a Sun team instead of a Rain team. I don't know. It's kind of hard to know. Um, so, this lead is really mean, and I don't like it. Because if I Terrastalize, I don't resist Hyper Voice anymore, right? Yeah. Warring Moon is also just really bulky. 
What do I want to do here? Let's... You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. The worst thing that happens is I lose and it's a short battle. And... <laughs> sometimes it'd be like that. I really can't do anything about this Roaring Moon. Unless... Until I get, like, the Palafin in, in the right position. All I need is for Ronzong to live. I really wish Bronzong wasn't weak to so many things right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, we live then. We're doing great. That's fantastic. All right, cool. I probably shouldn't have even terrestrialized. Why did they breaking swipe? I feel like that's such a weird choice to make. All right, we're going to do the bulldoze and the parabolic charge. They resist? They do. Do I care? I don't. Let's do it. Let's do it. See how much damage Belly Bolt can do this turn. Please. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, we're going to die to the Sylveon, though, aren't we? That's actually... I think we might be okay. We'll probably get enough HP back that we'll live. Bronzong goes down. Torkoal probably goes down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have, we're at full HP. We should live the Terra Blast. Oh, they didn't even go for... Whoa! That's way too much damage. Are they Life Orb? They are life orb. Okay. That's fine. Let's just get Pelipper in. Yeah, this is great. This is fine. I'm gonna wide guard and protect because they're probably gonna go for first impression on me, right? <clears throat> they kind of have to first impression here. And then we can just start going for helping hand muddy water and hopefully we don't miss, right? Belly Wolf's not nearly as bulky as it feels like it should be sometimes. Oh, they just go for Terra Blast? Heavy Slam, I guess. I guess? I guess. Helping Hand. Muddy Water is what we're going for. They're probably calling the Wide Guard, which is, which is fair. That's fair. I'm not slower than the Sylveon right now, which might be a good thing if we get out of Trick Room here. Because then we'll have Palafin and Pelipper and the, and the Rain, and they can't do anything about it. So, maybe. Helping Hand, Muddy Water. We missed. I missed the only Pokemon I needed to hit. That's so lame. That's so lame. Alright, whatever. Hurricane. Wave Crash. Oh, actually, it should be Jet Punch. Hurricane. Jet Punch. Dang. <laughs> I would I would miss the only Pokemon I need to hit. You know, I kind of do that a lot, don't I? I kind of do that a lot. Very frequently, I hit the only Pokemon I want to... I miss the only Pokemon I want to hit. That's fine. Hurricane knocks out. Wow, it was slower than me? Why? Why is it so slow? 77? That's like min speed Slitherwing. Why are you running minimum speed Slitherwing? What the heck? What is this? Okay, well, Chilling Water... Um... I think I want a Chilling Water Protect, but... You know? Let's do it. You think Chilling Water KOs? I actually don't. <laughs> I actually don't think it KOs, and I'm scared. Um, they can't Protect, though, right? They protected last turn? Okay, so then let's go... Chilling Water... Jet Punch. That's a KO. Cool. Does Palafin live this turn? Oh, 100%. Great. Perfect. Um, why do they keep clicking Breaking Swipe? Is what I want to know. I'm just going to Chilling Water and Protect. Like, really, I have no reason not to. We might as well just keep lowering their attack while we can. <clears throat> if I had just landed the Muddy Water, we probably could have had, like, a like a really good... Roost? It's the Roost set? Okay, sure. Sure, man. Sure. I'm just going to Chilling Water again. Let's go for the Close Combat. Ow, quit it. Oh no, you're almost dead. <laughs> you think they live? I'm just gonna go for Helping Hand Jet Punch. You think they live? I feel like they, they probably might, actually, since we don't have the rain anymore. They didn't terrestrialize anything. Oh, they did. They terrestrialized the Sil- I forgot. They terrestrialized the Sylveon. Wow, that went great. <laughs> that was a pretty okay video. What, what did we do? Like, like four wins and two losses? That's fine. <laughs> Um, if you liked the video, guys, remember, leave a like, push the video to the people, 
We need to bring Andy to the masses, okay? This is my this is my call to action. Bring Andy to the masses. Um, check out check out the merch. I have pictures. Maybe I'll put them on the screen. Uh, uh, people got their merch in, and it looks amazing. So if you're like on the fence, like I don't know if it's gonna look good, not in the picture, which is understandable. I get it. I still don't have samples, but people have gotten their merch that have ordered it. There's those pictures. They look great and amazing and fantastic. Hopefully, <coughs> uh, if you're on the fence, it'll push you over to the right side of the fence. And if you're all the way here at the end and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? This is like a 30 plus minute video. Subscribe. Be an annual fan today. And with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.